Peter Roach, you were born here in Dunmore, were you? Born in Dunmore, yes. How many years ago? 18 and 83. That's how many? About 83 years ago? About 83 years of age, yes. Well, have you spent your life here? No, no, I have... uh, Ah, the early part of my time working around the quay and the fishing, and then I went off, went across to look at the National. And from the National, I never came back for four or five years. I went off to America. What part of America? (laughs) All of America, practically. From uh, Boston, I went up to Buffalo, Buffalo to Chicago. Chicago, I stopped on the lakes sailing for a while. And then I went from that down to Seattle. From Seattle I went north to Skagway in British Columbia. From there I went up over the White Pass, the Chilcot Pass down into Dawson. Up to the Yukon? Oh, in the Yukon. What were you doing up there? Were you gold mining or what? I was working for a syndicate on a gold dredge. I'd done a little bit of gold mine now, not a lot. And after all this excitement, you came back to Dunmore East? I came back home for a holiday. After 12 months there, I came home for a holiday. And then I had a good holiday for 12 months. I think I nearly went back broke. You, you did go back to, to I went Canada, back straight out to Seattle again. And went from that, I went way up through the Bering Sea into the Yukon. What was life like Up. in Canada in those days? Oh, fairly, fairly good. Hard. Primitive. Life was very primitive at that time. Any interesting experiences up there? Well, uh, yes. I, <laughs> I played football with Eskimos. Ga- <laughs> with Eskimos in St. Michael's. Gaelic football? Gaelic football with Eskimos. And where are they? Uh, they were quite good at it, too. Where did they learn it? They learned it off the Christian brothers in Andruski. And at that time, you know, in the summer time, they lit a, a fire in the field, the brothers, and the horses and cows, they had horses and cows that time, and they backed into the smoke to keep the mosquitoes from pinching them. You now, the mosquitoes were worse, uh, worse in Alaska than they were in any part of the southern states. Did you do any fishing up there? Fishing, I could walk across the river on salmon, they were no good to me. Why? You could do nothing with them. What could I do with them? You couldn't eat that money that you'd get. There was little tributaries of the Yukon, one in particular, the Andorusky River, and surely if you took up any size stone and threw it in, you'd kill a fish in it, salmon. Well, what surprises me is, after all this, that you came back and settled in Dunmore. The next time you came back, you did stay here, did you? I'll tell you the reason. My experience of what countries that I travelled, Ireland is the best country of all the lot. Well, what about Dunmore? Has it changed a lot in your time? Dunmore has changed colossal from a deserted village to a prosperous village now. We should never be done thanking God and the government we have for giving us the opportunity to live decently. There's no poor in Dunmore now. What about the future? The future is at your doors here. You, you have it. You can see. You can see it there today. Oh no! Oh, excuse me. You want? They want the boats to catch the fish now. The boats, the usual boat that we had here, were too small, not able for the fishing. You want bigger boats, and when they get that done, more is a go- better than the Klondike.